Hi guys, welcome to Joe's RC Corner, and today is just going to be a really quick video because uh, I'm kind of an in-between projects right now because I'm waiting to head up to uh, Mexico, Missouri to pick up the cruiser kit, uh, but I can't just sit still. I needed to work on something, so I found a little project that uh, some of you guys might have already seen it uh, posted on uh, Facebook, but... Uh, I'll turn the camera around after the intro, and uh, we'll take a quick look and see uh, how much we got done on this uh, small project here. Okay, guys, so uh, like I said, uh, I can't just sit around, so I had to work on something. Uh, so I found a little project here uh, to work on. Uh, this is a uh, P47. Uh, it was a control line originally. We're going to be converting this to electric. Uh, I'm not going to do a full build series on it, uh, but uh, really quickly, uh, I'll send, uh, I will put some uh, updated photos and videos uh, over the course of the next uh, month here while I'm waiting to head up to Mexico, Missouri to pick up my plane. It's just going to be a really quick uh, RC uh, uh, bank and yank airplane. It's just going to have rudder, uh, I'm sorry, elevator and ailerons on it. Uh, no, uh, no rudder. Uh, and I'm going to go through a few of the uh, little details that I'm going to be adding to this uh, small little plane here just for fun. Uh, if it doesn't fly well, then I guess it'll be a hanger queen, but uh, I think she's going to fly really nice. So uh, let me turn the camera around. We'll take a look at it. Okay, like I said, guys, uh, it's, well, it's, it's, this is an old kit. It's a P-47N. It's the, uh, an old top flight um, control line kit. And uh, as you can see, uh, it, it, it's pretty nice. It comes with the preformed uh, fuselage sides, the sheet in. I did find some issues with it that I did come across, uh, and that's part of the reason why there's a little bit extra filler around these areas here, uh, right up here in this area. Uh, and also you can see along the uh, where the cowl is as well. Um, I did make a little mistake here, cut that a little too low, but that's my fault. Went ahead and fixed that already. Once this is painted and everything, you won't ever notice it. Um, same with right here. And also down here under the tail. You can notice this portion right there where I had to add a little extra uh, sheet in, uh, in that area. Uh, same on the other side, but uh, it's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, it's going to look just fine. Uh, no one will notice it. Now I have a couple uh, motor uh, options. I have this E-Flight. Um, this is the E-Flight, I believe it's the 370 uh, motor. I was thinking about trying this one. I'm not sure yet. Uh, it says it can swing up to a nine inch prop, which probably would be perfect for in there, uh, but I'm not sure yet. And then I also have this uh, 2830 uh, 850 kV, if I can get the focus on it, there it is, 850 kV, it's uh, an RC, RC timer, I haven't seen these motors in a while, I used to have them on multi-copters, a lot of multi-copters with this one, but uh, this would also be a nice little fit in there, might give me a little extra power. I know I can swing up to a 12 inch prop on that, but I don't really need a 12 inch, so I might go... If, the, if nothing else, uh, if I use this motor, then we may end up going with um, may end up going with a maybe a two cell setup, uh, or I can still use this 12, uh, 12 volt or three cell 900 milliamp battery, which uh, will fit right up inside here. Uh, and I do still need to make the hatch up here. Uh, I haven't really decided how I'm doing it yet. Uh, I know there's a firewall about right here. I'm sorry, not a firewall. But there's a section right up in here where I can cut this front section open right here along the top so I can get to the battery, make that a hatch, uh, look pretty good. Uh, and then I got these uh, little uh, Emacs servos, nice and tiny, but they're decent little servos. And I'm going to put one in each wing for the ailerons and one for the elevator back here. I'm going to cut a slot fish the wire up, and then put the uh, receiver up in the front. And I might look at getting, since this is a really tiny airplane, 
I might consider getting a AS3X receiver, one of those new ones with the no uh, antenna, uh, which would fit nicely inside here right under the cockpit area, uh, right in there. Uh, the wing is going to be permanently mounted, so once all that's in there, uh, it's, uh, it's done. Uh, I'm going to uh, cover it with uh, tissue paper uh, just and, and water-based polyurethane, and that will uh, seal the wood so I can do a nice uh, airbrush paint job on it. I'm going to have to look at getting an airbrush. I don't have one yet. Uh, and then we can do some detailing and things like that. But, uh, but yeah, this is just an old top flight P47N uh, control line model that we're going to be modifying. I uh, also did some 3D printing. I 3D printed a uh, radial engine for a P47. Uh, I'll put the uh, link to the file below in the, the, in the description there. But this fits nicely right in there. Uh, and that'll look really cool, guys. Uh, I also printed out a few other items. I uh, got an instrument panel. And we're going to put retracts. I found these uh, this file on uh, Thingiverse, and I again, I will leave the description in there. But yeah, these little guys just run on a single servo in the center and with a push rod, and I'll be able to use these as the retracts. So these will fit nicely in this little wing here. So these will fit nicely right in here. And uh, about right there is where they're going to go in the wing here. A little bit of wire and then the... I'm going to look for some foam wheels uh, to go right here. Uh, this is just a piece for the hatch. I haven't gotten that far yet. The wing is the same distance on both sides. Uh, I know on some uh, control line models they uh, elongated one side of the wing. This one did not. Uh, it is the same on both. So that's a good plus there. And here are the rest of the parts for the second retract, which will go uh, right over here on this side as well. So we'll work on that. Let's see, is there any other cool things to discuss on this one? Uh, no, I don't believe so. That's going to be about it, guys. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to continue working on this as my little side project while I wait to go get my, uh, my kit over there. Uh, for my Zenith uh, cruiser uh, and I will take you guys along for the ride when I get up there So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys uh, today on this video I know it's really short and uh, not much really going on. So I do apologize uh, That we didn't have any other projects and I really goofed up on the timing in regards to uh, picking up my kit uh, but uh, it is what it is uh, the other issues that we're having that we're running into right now is the RC field uh, is now limited again. It's not closed, but it's limited to only five uh, people at the RC field at a time, which is why bother type of thing. Because you drive up there, packed all up there, get there, and there's more than five people. Then you have to drive home, unpack all your stuff. So I just haven't bothered going out to the field uh, since that uh, new governor order came out here in New Mexico. So um, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I will uh, definitely take some more pictures of this build on the P47. I'll share that with you. And uh, next week, we'll just have another update on the status of the P47 uh, instead of doing a full build video on it. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, you guys want me to... Uh, do anything special on uh, anything that you guys want to see on this aircraft, please let me know and I'll be sure to uh, go ahead and post something in there. Also guys, uh, don't forget I do have these uh, wonderful Teespring, uh, these wonderful shirts here on Teespring, uh, so definitely check them out. Also have uh, some, uh, some Zenith build uh, t-shirts as well, so definitely check out the link in the description. And, uh, and see if there might be a t-shirt you want to purchase to help support Joe's RC Corner. And uh, like I said, guys, I appreciate everybody. And uh, stay safe and see you on the next video. Bye now.